All right, Miss Stanton's gonna lead it off for us. I will here. lead it off. I guess. Um, awesome. Rolling Stones, The Police, I mean, Kenny Chesney, Bon Jovi. You guys are from a, a tiny, tiny town, and just all of a sudden, you're at Churchill Downs. What has this been like for you, especially this, this weekend? Uh, it's been good. It's been, <laughs> it's been really great. Uh, we were very lucky enough to get added to this, and uh, we were fortunate enough to meet uh, some friends of, I guess, that promotion, who runs promotions here. Sure. So uh, I think it was Jude from the VP of Papa John's. His work kind of introduced him to us, and we were great friends with him. And it was, it was just uh, like a word of mouth type thing. It was good for us. How many people in the crowd have confused you for Sean White? All but two. All but two. Just it's that. It's that. It's, 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 it's Sean. He was Sean Leiter. Or David Stain. David Stain. He was hanging out with Saving Abel the other day at the pool at this hotel, and everyone, the room was going around, but they were hanging out with Sean Leiter. <laughs> hey, but your hair looks fantastic, so whatever. Just to kind of go off what she was saying, with being at Churchill Downs, playing on Sunday, sort of when it's all coming together, mm -hmm. this experience, like how, how cool was it? What's the vibe like for you? Lively, yeah. excited, awesome. Everyone out there is ready to have a good time. Like I figured, everyone would just be like, "Yeah, it's so hot, I hate it," but no, they're loving it. They have a yeah. great time. I mean, thank God they're already starting to get a little red. So he's so, been yeah. out for about five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got we got to play an hour long set. Yeah. Really great. We're on tour right now. We get a, we get thirty minutes every night. So it was really great to get to come here and play for this many people, and you know, pull out all the stuff we haven't had to play in a while. So, uh, it was a good one. That just, seeing the other names that are on the other stages, and it's just like the Wayne's World moment where you're holding up the pads, yeah. like going <laughs> everywhere, like, like holy <laughs> crap, you can't, you know, holy crap, don't I mean, take any pictures the of Steve us. Steve Miller Band. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, we need to like, Steve Guitar Miller. <laughs> yeah, so if we could speak, so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you become fans then, after you get done playing? Do you, are you going to go out there and oh. just... Oh, yeah, yeah, we already have been. I went and saw the Abbott Brothers. And yeah, we went and saw the Black Rose. Brothers, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely like right in there. <laughs> I got a chance to catch some of you guys and just go out there today and Abbott Brothers came on stage and people actually started saying, even though it's been a fantastic weekend, but they started saying, this is a music festival. I mean, that vibe, you know that thing, people mm -hmm. start dancing and yeah. they don't care. When was that moment for you guys when this just really became that magic? I have to say when uh, everyone started dancing, yeah. uh, about it was about three songs in yeah. in, in our set, and I just I saw the little circle kind of start, yeah. and then everyone else kind of just slowly grew, and it was really cool to watch. And when people started yelling out song names oh, yeah. like that, it's like we're gonna get to it, but why do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> how, do, how do you know? Yeah, that? we've never been here. <laughs> But people do know it, and they also know that your song is debuting and continues to climb up the charts. And so, right now, I mean, what can we expect from you next after this? Well, we're on tour all summer, and uh, we have a couple more singles I think we might start pushing uh, very soon. Hopefully, very soon. Hopefully, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to tour with this album for as long as we can, but maybe have another one. Start. We're already kind of working on another one. So, yeah. Uh, with this album, or this last single, we kind of targeted active rock, whereas the next single, the or single or singles that we're going to put out, we're going to kind of branch off in different directions. So our album's really versatile. It's not just one style of music. It all fits together, but each song is a little bit different, so we're going to go after some different markets. Who are you doing with, who are you with right now? We're on tour with uh, three other bands, uh, Saving Abel, we are the Fallen in American Bay, and uh, start on the West Coast and kind of make our way across to uh, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we'll stop one day. <laughs> we want to stop after the It's pretty good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, this, this is a good in. That, that's for sure. No way. More questions? Well, you're originally from Stillwater. Oh, please go ahead. What's it like playing with four other bands on a small club tour? Because I know that's kind of unusual for a club tour. Mm -hmm. And American Banks toured with Three Days Grace and Saving Abel's toured with Nickelback. So what's that like for you guys? 
it's hectic sometimes. Uh, we only get a 15 minute changeover from the band before us, so it's like, go, 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 go. You know, as soon as that band's done, everybody's like a million people are on stage, like carrying stuff on and off, and uh, we don't get a really long sound check. I mean, so, kind of the energy of getting the shows and then it becomes, it's almost like frantic, which kind of adds, adds an element to the show because we don't have time to like, you know, go out and sound check and come off. So, uh, your drones are going. Yeah. Once you since everything's sped up, so it's okay to go a little bit, a little bit. And then we only get 30 minutes, so we get to, only to play so many songs, and so it's kind of like you have to give everything for that amount of time. But you only have to play 30 minutes, so you really can't rock out. I mean, this guy, I don't know how he does it every night. Oh. But, uh, I was going to ask that, how is it still attached? Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> people were asking us, we were walking around, he wasn't with us, and people were asking us if he was okay. So he's still all right. <laughs> I just want to know after we relinquish you from the whole media table thing, are you guys going back out there? Are you going to stay for Dave? Probably. Uh, Dave's going to be there. Yeah. Uh, Gutsy, I got to see Dave. In Kansas, too? In Kansas, sorry. Sorry. Invite you over. Now, you all played. You all played Rock on. Rock on the Range back in May, and it's kind of like the big names now, and this is, has a lot of big names from the past. Is there any different feeling for you guys playing the two different festivals, or? Yeah, I mean, it's different. Uh, that was, Rock on the Range was really awesome, too. This one was really cool, too, but it's unique because it's a lot of the bands that are like classics already, you know? So, um, I think I like this better. Yeah, I honestly, honestly, I think I like <laughs> this better than I can <laughs> Rock on the Range was really, really organized. It was like, okay, you're here, you play 30 minutes, all right, now you shoot off here to media, you're in 17 different interviews, you two split up, you're going here, you're going here. And here it's like, relax, have some chicken, walk around. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's more our speed coming from a small town. It's like, all right, this is what a music festival is supposed to be. Relax, listen to the music, and have fun. Um, I was going to ask, because you're originally from Stillwater, Oklahoma. I'm actually from Tulsa, so I'm familiar with Stillwater. Um, so what would you say is like your influence in the area? Because there's a lot more than country going on in Oklahoma. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, I don't, whenever it comes to influences from around Oklahoma, yeah. um, I would have to say just uh, there's not there, there's not very many from Oklahoma that are our genre that... Mm. Uh, but there's a rub off, though. I mean, like, in Stillwater, there's a big red dirt country scene. Yeah. So we're obviously exposed to that constantly. So I'm sure, I don't know if it, specifically if we could, like, pinpoint where it's rubbed off on us, but I'm sure it has. So yeah, yeah somewhere. We're big fans of Other Line, which is a band from Stillwater. And there's a good indie scene in Stillwater. And that would be something that I would take from, just like, you know, because they're my friends and everything. And I don't really talk to many of the other, because, uh, you know, bands are always touring and everything, so I get a chance to meet everybody. And, I wasn't still long enough to, to meet all the bands that came out of there, built and then took off. But yeah, other lives. And, uh, yeah. There's a good bluegrass scene, like I'm from Guthrie, Oklahoma, there's a bluegrass festival every year. Uh, there's a good blues scene, good metal scene, tall scene. <laughs> there is. That's right. <laughs> Agony scene. Yeah. It's brutal. <laughs> last question? My last question. I mean, this era of, you know, radio has gone here and video killed the radio star and all that kind of stuff. Had a, a local musician who said yesterday, where else do you see Sam Bush, Gladys Knight, Kenny Chesney, and all the others, Bill Billies, all in one place? How meaningful is that for you, especially as up-and-coming musicians who've already started a fan base? It's amazing. It's awesome to be a part of something like that. Yeah, it's very uh, Woodstock. -y. Like, there was a lot of really different acts at Woodstock. It's still kind of an underlying theme. Sure. I like it a lot. But it is really cool that, like, how well known and how respected all these musicians are. For us to get to be a part of that as a new emerging artist is pretty awesome. Because, like, the tours that we get to go on, like, uh, so far we haven't got to go with anybody that would fit in some of these genres. And it's like, holy crap, I'm standing right there watching this, and 
I don't know, it was humbling and very cool. And to know that when radio is controlled a lot by one person or somebody who's choosing the music, for a group to come together and like not worry about the genres, not worry who has what going on, and it's just like great music.